How is it possible that a Christian marriage could be bad? Let's talk about that today. Hello and welcome to True Love Talk. My name is Bridget Irabo, author of True Love More Than a Love Affair. And today I want us to talk about how a Christian marriage or people who are believers and believe in God can have a bad Christian marriage. Yes, absolutely, it is possible. And to discuss that today, I will tell you of a testimony, you know, of a couple. Actually, both of them believers, they love God and uh, they got married, but things did not work out right. Why? This is what happened. The wife, while she was um, single, was actually quite depressed. And she was believing that when she got married, her husband would take all her depressions away because things would just, oh, just be so rosy and so nice and things like that. So she was really looking forward to it. And so finally she gets married and the husband is kind. He's actually a pastor. Uh, he's pastoring a, a, a great church, you know, a growing church. And then, but guess what? This woman becomes even more depressed. Why? Because the husband is not behaving like she thought he would behave. And guess where she was getting her ideas from? Hollywood. He's not behaving like that Hollywood star that she used to watch, that romance movie. <laughs> she was basing all her expectations on what she had been watching in a movie. Yes, she's a believer. And guess what? As believers, our expectations should be based on the Word of God, not on movies. And the enemy can actually play with you if you don't have your foundation in the word of god and your expectation of god and so her expectation was of the flesh her expectation was of something that was contrary to the word of god because for the marriage relationship to work it actually has to be based on the word of god because marriage is god's idea and if you base it on anything else it will not work yes that's how a christian marriage can actually have problems and so this marriage got so bad that one day her husband walked into the house and she takes the cup of coffee she's making and she pours it on him that's how bad but guess what it gets worse she decides that she wants to kill herself because her life is not worth living the husband is so bad he's not like she thought that he would be and so she drives out of the house wanting to kill herself but while she attempts to commit suicide she has an encounter with God that turns her life totally around and I personally believe that is the prayers of the saints that had this happen and i'm so happy that she yielded to the spirit of god at this point rather than yielding to her flesh and so she comes home deciding to be who god had made her to be deciding to be whole in god rather than having expectations on someone else other people and from outside sources and so yes she she decides to be kind and one day she makes a cup of coffee for her husband and she serves this coffee to her husband and her husband takes a sip of the coffee and he spits it on her face yes what's this with all this coffee spilling and spitting on her face but that's what happens but how did she respond well she says well maybe you don't want coffee i'll go make you some tea and so she decides to just maintain her love work, even though the husband, guess, get this now, the husband, because of the frustrations that the wife had been bringing on him all this while, had become bitter. Yes, he became bitter because he had lost his church. He had lost his joy. He had lost everything that he thought was what, you know, life was about. But I just want to say this, that yes, he lost all of that and he became mean as a snake, like people would say. And like I said, I just want to say here that if we base our joy and our peace on the things that are around, on ministry, on the things that we're doing, on our jobs, on our spouses, on what we think, it never works out. Our peace and our joy should always come from the Word of God. Otherwise, no matter how kind we are, no matter how good of a Christian that we think we are, if we have all these expectations that are not godly, it's going to end up coming back. Yes, and it does not, you know, to bite us like they we see, and it does not stand the test of time. But this woman decides that she was just going to keep walking in the love of God because now she had really found where the true foundation is. And she was able to stay until her husband came back to himself. He turned around and, you know, began to love God again. And both of them, you know, based on the foundation of the world, began to build their lives again, build their marriage relationship again. And things became even more blissful than they could ever imagine yes absolutely so you're getting the picture the thing that can actually make a marriage relationship between two christians bad is when they have the wrong expectations and when it's based on other things but the word of god 
So I want to invite you today that if that is your situation, begin to check, check your priorities, check your expectations, check your foundations. Is it based on the word of God? And if not, you can make the adjustment today. It's not too late. Both of you come together, even if it's just you that is finding out, you know, begin to do your own part and believe God for your spouse. And both of you come together, but if it's both of you come together, begin to base your marriage again on the word of God, rather than what you taught, what you were taught and what you learned from sources outside of, God, of the Word of God. And I can guarantee you that things are going to be beyond your expectations because the Word of God is our guarantee. Now, am I saying that things may not come up from time to time? Well, whatever comes up, go back to the Word of God. The Word of God is your ammunition. It will force that circumstance, that situation to line up, yes, when you put your trust and your hope in God, when you yield and you're actually depending on the Word of God. Because sometimes people say, oh, I love God, but they're not depending on the Word of God. And I'm telling you, try it today and you'll see that your life and your marriage will be beyond, again, I say, your wildest dreams and imaginations. <laughs> so until next time, like, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in another True Love Talk and hopefully with a testimony of a better marriage. God bless.